Well, I'm here at uh, LAX, and as you can probably tell, I got here a little bit early, uh, a lot early. It's uh, five o'clock in the morning, and my flight isn't until, it takes off at noon, which means I don't need to really check in until about nine. I'll probably check in about eight, but uh, I'm definitely early. Um, this, this will get really busy here uh, after a while. Uh, if you've never been to LAX, this is the international departure uh, entrance. Um, this is all that I'm traveling with. I, I came with an empty suitcase to California so that I could load it up with clothes and gifts and stuff. A um, couple of travel tips. <clears throat> Since other people may have the same uh, luggage, uh, I just, you know, tied a little something on here so that when it comes through the turnstile when I get over to Cebu, you know, I can kind of keep an eye out for this. Um, here in my backpack, of course, is where I'll carry all my laptop and uh, camera gear. Um, I, I slept, uh, what was it? I slept like two hours. Um, I'm just more of a night person, so I just kind of stayed up and, you know, slept a couple hours. Um, basically, the plan is I'm going to find somewhere comfortable. I'm going to go online, uh, latch on to the Wi-Fi signal, um, send out a couple of, you know, last goodbyes. Um, and then, uh, let's see, then, of course, check in. Then all i got to deal with is just the backpack. And that's pretty much it. Then it's just a matter of waiting at my gate, going through the usual, you know, the usual thing. Um, I've mentioned before that traveling late at night, uh, you know, it's, it's just a lot more calm, <laughs> you can see. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to find a place to go uh, chill out and get some Wi-Fi. Okay, I went ahead and uh, decided to do self-check-in this time. Um, they have this little kiosk here for self-check-in. Like, for instance, I was on Korean Air, so I just hit Korean Air. And then you go through, it walks you through the process. Now, uh, and I did switch it to English. Um, at one point, you can just put your passport here. It'll scan it, and then it'll print out your boarding pass. So I've got my two boarding passes. Uh, I'm going to be lay, doing a layover in South Korea. So now I've got my boarding pass. I just got to go over and check in my luggage. Uh, like I said, I'll be keeping that with me. Um, and then I just keep an eye on this. Uh, it's got my departure time. Uh, it'll show me the gate up here. Um, you know, I just keep an eye out for, uh, they kind of rotate, but essentially, you know, Korean air will come up here and then it'll show, you know, when I'm coming in. Anyway, so pretty straightforward, uh, simple process. And uh, that's pretty much how it's done. That way you can uh, kind of save yourself a little bit of time. Okay, it's uh, daylight uh, here now. And um, what I've gone ahead and done is uh, I've already checked in now my baggage. And one thing I wanted to talk about really quick is the ongoing ticket. Um, you'll need an ongoing ticket if you're taking a one-way flight into the Philippines and you don't plan on coming back uh, within 30 days. So if you plan on staying for a long stay, you'll need a, an ongoing ticket. Now what I usually do, I've checked around one of the cheapest, and they call it a throwaway ticket, it's uh, AirAsia, AirAsia.com. It's the flight from Clark to Kuala Lumpur. It's about 40 bucks or less. Um, this way, when you check in, you can show that you have a ticket that you're going to be leaving the Philippines uh, within 30 days. Um, but actually, what you're going to do is you're once you're in, you go straight to um, uh, what is it? The Bureau of Immigration, the BI, uh, right about the 20th day, actually and uh, just go ahead and get a, a two-month extension on your tourist visa. Now, you can continue to renew the tourist visa for three years, uh, 36 months, um, and just keep doing that. That's why they call it a throwaway ticket. You'll need it when you board. They'll add, like, they just asked me for it right now. I know a lot of people keep saying, oh, they're not gonna ask me for it. I've gotten away without it. Uh, but actually, um, I've also got some Facebook grabs of guys who uh, got on the plane, ended up at the Philippines, and that's as far as they got. They were turned around and, and sent back because they didn't have an ongoing ticket. You can't just get a one-way ticket in. So get the throwaway ticket. Uh, make sure that if, say, for instance, you're landing in the Philippines on the 1st, that your, your ongoing ticket leaves, say, for instance, on the 20th. And then that way you're well within the 30 days. You know, that's to get you in. And of course, then you just go to the BI. Uh, now your two-month extension is about 
roughly, uh, it's, it's, it's about 3,000 pesos, so you're talking about maybe 75, 80 bucks, uh, US dollars. Okay, so um, I'm all checked in. Uh, they're gonna take my luggage here in a little bit. And as soon as I see that they take my luggage, I'm gonna go up to the uh, lounge and um, just kind of kick back and uh, go online. So. Okay, I've made it past the, um, kind of like the final x-ray where they, you know, x-ray your shoes and your laptop and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's a little easier if you just dump everything into your backpack. You have to take out the laptop separate or a camera. Um, but I just empty everything out of my pockets. Instead of putting it into the little plastic tray, I just dump it all in my backpack. Uh, it's a little easier that way. Um, when you get in here, um, of course, they got the duty-free shops and all that kind of stuff. Um, not really a whole lot of stuff here that I, I really need. But um, uh, what's nice is right up here, they've got uh, the schedule, you know, pretty easy to read. Uh, kind of a cool looking clock over there too. Uh, I'm gonna head up to the little mezzanine thing up here and um, Let's see. Yeah, let's see if I can find a place to to eat and charge up my My computer looks like they've got Let's see. I haven't really browsed this area. It looks like they got a Panda Express. I'll probably end up over there um, But I haven't actually checked out this whole area. I usually uh, when I'm arriving I just blaze past all this and you know get out of the uh get out of the airport but oh, okay they got like a victoria's secret ice store uh caviar and caviar and champagne bar uh quite a bit of stuff yeah okay so anyway so yeah i'm gonna find a place to charge up and uh yeah check out this mezzanine up here and looks nice and see if i can find myself an outlet to recharge my laptop well, as I mentioned, I decided to go with the Panda Express and uh, just wanted to point out that uh, a lot of the tables here, they have, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but all the tables here, there's plenty of them, they all have outlets. So if you want to use your laptop or recharge your phone, um, they do have outlets there. So yeah, plenty of them. It's uh, like an outlet about every couple of, I don't know, a couple of feet. So plenty of places to, to charge up. Well, here in the uh, airport, of course, you're going to pay a little bit more. I uh, just thought I'd show you this here. Uh, for the two items here at the Panda Express and a bottle of water, uh, we're looking at uh, $8.95 for the lunch and 3 bucks for a bottle of water. Uh, total, yeah, 13 bucks. 13 bucks? No. 12. No, 13. Yeah, so 13 for lunch. Anyways, it's the airport. It's time to eat, and um, we're starting off with an early dinner. Got uh, a little bit of a dessert. Uh, got chicken. Let's see. Get this unwrapped here. Yeah, I got like some uh, chicken. Looks like uh, chicken and rice, I think, something like that. Mushroom uh, and a roll, salad. Uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, anyways, uh, so we're gonna eat. It's daylight out outside. Um, I, walked, I left Los Angeles about at noon, and then we've been on the plane roughly about nine hours. We crossed the international date line. I know that we're traveling with the sun because uh, it sets in the west and we're heading west. Um, but we had dinner. Uh, at our last meal and now we're having another dinner i got beef this time and uh yeah everybody's eating and um anyway so now it's it's like uh yeah i so said we've been in the air about nine hours maybe ten hours and now the local time here is uh, roughly about one in the afternoon so as best as i can figure we're We've traveled one hour, but we're a day ahead, something like that. Um, and we're going to arrive in Korea, I think about, uh, I think it's at about, about four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, 
and then I'll be there for three hours, and then I should arrive in Cebu around midnight. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, so it's food time, and um, I'm gonna eat. Um, I'll, I'll figure out what time it is 